<laughs> hey, hi everybody. Thank, thank, thank you so, so much for joining you. us. I'm, I'm sorry to be a little bit late and technical difficulties are just a part of this. Keep talking. Um, I, I was going to keep on doing the technical things, but I'll talk to you. My name is Liz and this, this is my sister, Sam. Sam. She's a tech wizard. And, and we, we are bloggers over at prettylifegirls.com. And, and we're so excited to be here with Michael's and Aline's. Michael's, Michael's is, is our craft store, store and Aline's is one of our favorite craft brands. So we're so excited to be here with you. Okay, sorry, sorry, one sec. <laughs> Um, okay, so sorry. This is just how it goes in 2020, right? <laughs> um, like I was saying, we love Aline's particularly because neither of us can sew. Is that right? so true? Our mom was a very talented woman who didn't have the skills of a sewing machine. So we love Aline's because it lets us pretend that we can sew because of their great adhesives that are great with fabric. So we're so excited to be able to make something with you that doesn't require sewing. And so today we're going to make these adorable, there's one behind us and this one too, pom-pom stockings that look like you probably spent a long time sewing them, but you didn't. It's, that's the great thing. And to do this magic, we're going to be using, oh, sorry. We're going to be using Aline's Fabric Fusion, which is great because it can work on a lot of different fabrics. It's non-toxic and you're going to just love using it. So Sam, take sure it away. Do it. Teach okay. me how. Okay. So what you're going to need for this is felt. And I recommend like a nicer wool felt, something sturdy and, and you know, sometimes craft felt, when you pull it, it'll stretch and we don't want that. So a nicer felt, um, fabric fusion, yarn, or if you want to buy pom-poms that are already made, you can. Some embroidery floss and thread, scissors, and I think that's what's it. Okay, <laughs> so the first step is you're going to take your felt and cut out a stocking. So you can freehand. I honestly just took a marker and drew it until I got the shape that I wanted and then put that drawn part on the inside here. You could pull out a stocking you have that you like and trace it on your felt and then cut it out. But what you want is to get your stocking shape and you'll need two of these. So you would cut this out of your felt. And if you are making this as we go, I'm really sorry. That <laughs> you can watch this back tomorrow and finish up, but we have ours pre-cut because <laughs> we don't trust ourselves to do it on camera. Okay, so I have two pieces of felt here that I cut, and now we are going to use our glue. So we're gonna put the fabric fusion glue around the outside edge. So we're just gonna do like a thin line around the whole, not along the top. I was gonna say, I went to just check and see if this one opens. opens. I was like, did you know it needs a hole? <laughs> <laughs> you, if you, if, unless you just want it to be decorative, which yeah, is also that's fine. a thing. But if you are planning to put something in it, I suggest not gluing <laughs> along the top. That's a really good tip. Yeah. So what we're going to do is just do a little bit of glue. Mine needs to come down a little it's bit. It's so here. cold in this room too. I wonder if it's Oh my frozen. gosh. I keep telling this story about how cold. We're in Utah and I have been parking my car in the driveway. And the other day I got in to give my kids hand sanitizer after playing somewhere and had spray sanitizer and it was frozen solid <laughs> from being outside. So welcome to Utah. That's what we're going through. What are you going through? <laughs> Where are you located though? Really? We would love to know. It's okay. snowing a little bit here, which this is the only acceptable month of year for snow, I think. So I'll welcome <laughs> it. Okay. So I'm going to just keep doing glue around this outside edge. Just a thin line. This glue is washable. So you can use it on all different types of materials, even things that will be washed and it's non-toxic. 
It works on a bunch of different materials. I've used it to hem my pants. I do that all the time. You? Again, we do not sew. I mean, no, I can I do basic stitching. Yes. But like but to even, sew a hem even on a sewing machine. Mm -hmm. And I'm short. So all of my pants, I feel like need three inches off. It drives me insane. Yeah. And I've used Fabric Fusion to hem my pants and it worked great. So that's denims, which is a pretty tough material and it's perfect. Yeah, it holds it. I need to keep this upside down. Yes. <laughs> it's like extra thick from being in this cold room. Yes. Okay. So while I'm gluing, hey, Liz. Hey, Sam. You're good. At, you have Christmas trivia. Oh, my gosh. Well, we've been doing some other classes, but they're for children. That's fine. This is my favorite Christmas trivia, though, that maybe adults would know. Okay. So I have been teaching all these craft classes, and you have to fill time, and you feel insane because you have to talk all the time. So I decided, in or so I wouldn't have to talk about myself because it's I have nothing to offer you. <laughs> trivia was it. So one of my favorite pieces of Christmas trivia, is this interesting to anyone? Is you know what, the they're Ukraine, watching me glue okay. while they listen to okay. you talk about Christmas. In the Ukraine, they decorate their trees with spiders. For Christmas? Yes, they're What's Christmas the trees. symbolism there? Um, I think that they're like, good luck. Oh, and I would hate it because I, I can't even see the top of a strawberry when like the top of a strawberry yeah. is on my counter. I know this I about think it's you. A spider. Yeah. I can't, I can't handle. So which is that's pretty a, weird. Is that an interesting piece of trivia? If yeah. you know any Christmas trivia. Does, can chat. anyone confirm this Ukrainian <laughs> Is thing? that stand on so we can hear them if they say something? No, but you can see it in the oh, chat. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Oh. Let me, I'm going to come forward and read. Let's see. Oh, someone says they just drove through three inches of snow where? and was late to this class. <gasps> where are oh, you? Oh, cricket. Cricket, where are you? Oh, and it looks like there's someone else from Utah. Wait, I remember Cricket. Did you <laughs> join us for our advent? I think I remember that name. Oh yeah, Cricket with a K. What a cute name. Cricket, where do you live that there's so much snow? I would love to know that. Hey, I'm getting close on this. While I'm finishing, we also want to know your favorite Christmas movie. Put it um, in the chat. I mine's a San, the Santa Claus. I love the Santa Claus. <laughs> so Cricket is in southeastern Washington. So much snow in Washington. Wow, Cricket. Okay, right, so we've got our stocking glued not the top because we want this to open so that's great so this is nice and thick i thought since you were so close to the edge i thought for sure some of it would seep, would seep out no and it really has it really yeah well. it's a really nice thick glue okay so we can put this away mm -hmm. for a time have you guys taken any other um michael's classes online i want to hear what your favorites have been and while you're saying I'm gonna start showing, if you want, you could leave this unsewn and it would be so, so cute, just like this. Yeah. We did a blanket stitch. This is about as far as our sewing skills go. Please don't judge me. <laughs> if this is any indication, oh, it looks like our overhead's frozen. Oh, Let's okay. give it a second. One second to catch up. It looks like someone has taken jewelry classes and crocheting and knitting classes on the Michaels Online and cricket classes. Oh, love Okay, are we unfrozen? I think we're back. Lance, will you give us a thumbs up if we're not frozen? Good. Great. Great, okay. So I'm just going to take a little bit of embroidery floss. It's knotted here because this is the kind of seamstress I am that <laughs> I just pull it until it stops moving. So don't hey, be like me. You can look at this two ways. You can look at it as being a shoddy craftsman or someone who we're is just, just really making laid it work. back. We make it we're work. super <laughs> laid back. Okay. So I've got my floss. I got a needle with a bigger eye and I'm going to thread it all six strands. I don't know the words. 
So you know how embroidery <laughs> floss hat is made up of like six things and you can separate it? What are those called? Does anybody know? <laughs> it does look like everyone's liking the jewelry classes, the painting classes, the crochet and knitting, but none of you have told us your favorite Christmas movies. Oh yeah. That is the priority question here. Let's hear it. Okay. And while you answer, yes, keep going. I'm tying a knot at this end. I pulled the floss just like a couple inches through. And then we start our stitching. So all along this outside edge where we didn't glue, not up here, where we, or where we did, glue, we did glue, you'll sew together. On the top, you're gonna sew them separately. So okay. we can show you with this one. It's glued or sewn there, but here you can see it's sewn here and it's sewn here. So the so string is stuck to my sweater. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to start at the corner up here. We'll be careful with our glue. Ideally, you would let it dry before you start doing this. And I'm going to come inside so you can't see the knot. Come inside, go down a well, about as far as you want your stitches to be spaced. And I'm going to pull it through until it catches the knot. And don't let our color scheme keep you from living your rainbow dreams. Any colors that you want to stitch, any color of felt that you want to use. It's so popular now to not decorate in red and green. I don't decorate in red and green. And so make these in any color family that, that fits your Christmas aesthetic. Yeah, for sure. Okay, to continue this stitch, we're up through the front. We're going to go in through the back and pull this string up through this loop like this. Okay, so we've got one stitch to start. Now we're going to go down through it and pull it. I did not do a good job showing that. Okay. Luckily you have a million more to do. So that's true. Okay. So I'm spacing mine like a centimeter, half inch about <laughs> apart. It really depends on how much stitching you want to do. Mm -hmm. If you only want to do a little bit for details, then you could space them way out. Okay. So let's do this again. We're frozen again. Hang on. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. I think it's the, the weather is messing with our connection today. Okay, so I'm gonna go down, again, spaced about the same, down, through the back, we're gonna pull it through this loop. Pull it up. How are we doing? Great, I'm just reading their okay. favorite Christmas movies to name. What do we have? Done. Okay, Ghosts of Girlfriends Past, which I've never seen nor heard Wait, of. Matthew McConaughey? Is, is that, that it? Cricket, it's Cricket again. Cricket, tell us about that movie. And then Scrooge with Bill Bill Murray. Okay, oh, yes. Okay. And any type of movie based on a Christmas carol, even the yes. cheesy ones. Yep. Love, love, love. Which, here's a question. What age do kids start to like the Christmas carol? Because we have tried. My, it creeps my kids out. We even tried like the Muppets mm -hmm. and it did it's not engage my children. Yeah, it's a little dark. Okay. Um, is everyone okay with this stitch? Do we need to keep showing? every Hallmark movie? <laughs> That's Sam. That is Sam. I am with you. I'm so blind. I wish I could see. Yes, Matthew McConaughey and Jennifer Garner is Ghost of Girlfriends Past. And I did not know that was a Christmas movie. Oh, it's Lance that said every Hallmark movie. Lance! <laughs> he, knows his, he knows the audience here. You guys, Lance is here. He's with Aline. And he just knows exactly who he's talking to right now. <laughs> Don't you, Lance? You little. Hey, everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh okay oh, are we frozen again uh okay let it catch up here okay. okay are we doing okay with this stitch you probably know how to do this i'm just going down and then pulling it through the loop like this and i'm just going to keep going for a bit just tell me if you're doing okay with it if you need us to keep going Wait, with the stitch. It's a Christmas movie because it's based on a Christmas carol. Ghost of a Girlfriend's, Girlfriend's Past. Past. I'm watching it tonight, Cricket. Tonight's the night. Oh my gosh. Can't wait. Okay. Would love, okay. 
would love feedback on this. I just don't want to yes, leave anyone please let behind. us know if you need more stitching tutorials or if we can move on. Do you think you have it? Do you want some more stitches? Let us know, you guys. Yeah, I'll, I can, keep, I, I'll keep going until my string runs out. And then I can show you how to end the string and then you would just start over again. Really, you could do, what's the stitch that's just like a normal, just like a, what uh, is that? You could do a back stitch a back if stitch you wanted you like a line. Mm -hmm. What is the one that's just like up and up down? And down. Okay. okay, you guys. Seamstresses. <laughs> we are not embroiderers. <laughs> but you could do any stitch that you're familiar with. Any I stitch. like this because it's really graphic. Yeah. But any kind of stitch, if, especially if you do contrasting of your yarn. Floss in your, uh-huh. And your, um, whatever this fabric is called, it's felt. called felt. <laughs> um, then anything would be, you know, you'd be able to see it. But this is particularly graphic. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm frozen again. Okay. Wait for it. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay. I'm gonna wait and see if it catches up. I would have been fan that be freezing. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. We're back. We're when back. When you run out back. of thread, what is the best best way to attach more? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna hurry and finish this one. Well, I'm gonna do a couple more just to make sure everyone sees. Uh, I'm so sorry about this connection, you guys. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do this. Well, so I, if you um, oh. if you run out of thread, what's the best way to attach some more? Okay, so you will run out of thread because otherwise it like gets really hard to work with. So I don't know if this is necessarily the proper way to do it. Um, but this is what I do. I'm going to show you that right now. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to try to hold this up. So once I get to the point that I'm like running low, I'm going to tie a knot with this here. So let's see. I'm going to get it in a knot. Just like this. So you can see it's pretty like small, you cannot hard, you can hardly see it. And then I'm going to tuck, I'm gonna just sew my thread right back through a couple of these loops just along the top. Can you see that? So I'm pushing it back through a few and then I'm gonna pull it back like that. Can you see that? So I did a knot here and then I sewed it back through. Then I'm gonna pull it a little bit and just cut it. And then when I tug it, it's going to just stay right there. So then I would get my new string, tie a new knot. And I'm going to, what I like to do again, I don't know if this is the proper way. I like to bring my string through the knot. And then my other tie from here will catch on that and we'll tuck that in later. And then I just keep going. So I'm gonna go back down. Does that help Maya? Let us know. Go back down, pull it through and just keep sewing. So to review, when you run out, you're just gonna tie it in a knot right here in this corner. Let me pull it up even a little closer. Tie a knot right here in this corner and then stitch it back and cut it. And then pull your new one with the knot through that knot, start going down and keep going. And then at the end, we can tuck this little guy back through. Does that make sense? Let us know Maya if, if we needed to review any of that. <clears throat> we'll wait and see, let's see. We have another question from Melanie. Uh, what other type of material would be good to use and could, would paper be an option? Paper, it would be. I mean, especially for decorative, it would. Um, I love sewing paper. Yeah, it looks really cute. That's so fun. And, and you could put things in it. You just would have to be really careful. Yeah. So yeah, you could do it with paper. You could do it with fabric. Like, and if you were going to do it with with paper, Aliens makes another glue that we just used for a different project that I'm like now using on everything. It's called the ultimate mm -hmm. and it is such a nice thick glue and you could totally use that glue to 
to glue together your papers, let it dry, and then it will toughen up your edges enough that you could totally sew them. Well, and I wonder too, if you did like um, a Mod Podge or something to like reinforce the, mm -hmm. I mean, like a sealer is yeah. what I mean. Sure. And to reinforce the paper. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So if we're good here, then oh, so start by pulling the thread through that knot, she says. So go back to that point. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. Okay. And then or is she's asking, that's how you start. Yes. Yes. So you go through the, through knot, the knot and then catch on that knot and then go down and pull it through the loop. Just keep going with your blanket stitch. Does that help? Are we clear? Yes. Thank you, she says. Okay. Thank you, Maya. All right. So you would keep doing this stitch all the way around here. And then once you get to the top, you would start doing the same thing right here and right here. Does that make sense? Let's go over to this guy that with the magic of the Zoom. internet, mm -hmm. we have finished. So we have this, our glue is dried. We have finished our stitching. You stitched it while you watched Ghost of Girlfriends Pass. There you go. Okay. <laughs> the good thing about this is since you glued it, you can work on the stitching later because yeah. it's going to stay together. Right. So you finish your stitching. Should we move on? Are we good to move on? Everybody feel confident in their ability to stitch and watch Ghost of Girlfriends Pass and enjoy <laughs> Cricket's favorite movie or Hallmark or Hallmark for Lance. <laughs> okay. okay. So now what we're going to do is pom-poms. So we, you can get these at the store at Michael's. It you already made, already made. Um, you could use like the not yarn. We like the yarn ones just cause we like that they look handmade, but you could buy regular ones and just glue them all over. We're going to show you how to make pom-poms though, because if you're like us, you have so much yarn laying around and it's really easy to make your own. So we have yarn and a fork. <laughs> and a fork is perfect because it's going to make a pom-pom about this size. So if you want something bigger, then you would get something bigger. You can use all sorts of things. I do it sometimes like I'll wrap it around my phone mm -hmm. and make them. You just want something that is about as wide as what you want your pom-pom to be. So what we're going to start with, Liz, you should show this part. You know how to do a pom-pom and I feel like, or do you want to just keep doing trivia? I'm trying to think of my other good trivias. Um, oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Okay. <laughs> For my math girls, I really stumped some people on this one and I only know it because I Googled. So how in the 12 days of Christmas, okay. How many total gifts are there? The obvious people would say is 12, 12 but yes. that's not true. But it's 12 plus so 11 answer, plus 10. No, it's even more complex than that. Because every day you get that days plus the days before. You really do? In the song. So on the, like that's not that's necessarily how it happens. Four polymers, three French hens, two drills. And then on the fifth day of it's like two oh. and Four polymers, three. So four. every day it multiplies, right? So who knows what the number is? What that would be. If that indeed is how it goes. It is how it goes. Listen to the words well, of the song. But, but don't you think they're just... No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't because it doesn't lend itself to my trivia. Okay. Well, so is it like 200? It's more. Is it's it more. like 600? Does anyone know? Okay. While you think about that, okay. let's wrap some yarn. Okay. So I cut this piece. This is like 12, 14 inches long. And then I'm going to put it through my middle, middle tongue, tongue of my fork and try to line up the ends. And then I'm just going to hold it back out of the way. And then I'm going to take my yarn and I'm just going to start wrapping and wrap. No wrap, one's wrap. answered my trivia question. Is it because I stumped you so hard or because Would you, you don't believe Do you not question? care for the <laughs> trivia? I wasn't going to bring trivia up in this Maybe one. they're like actually crafting. Oh, oh okay. wait. Okay. What was the question? My six-year-old won't stop bugging me about his DoorDash <laughs> order. What did he order? 
<laughs> oh, I I understand. It's brutal waiting for those door dashes. Okay, oh. the question was, let's see, this is for Cricket again. Cricket, the question was, on the 12 Days of Christmas song, how many total gifts are given? He can't decide where to order from. Mm. Oh, what's his name? Wait, is it a girl or a boy? Kit. Yes, he can. Yeah, his son. His son. Okay, so you're wrapping. Okay, I'm wrapping, and I'm just going to keep wrapping till it looks pretty fluffy. I like a really fluffy. Yeah, I do too. And the more yarn you do, the denser your pom pom is going to look, yeah. especially as you're shaving it down and molding it. Yeah. Um, and I always think it looks a little bit better when it's a little bit more yarn. Okay, so the answer, are you guys dying to know? Yeah, hit us with it. I you want me to do math? She doesn't want to do it. Okay, this is the answer. Cricket, don't get your calculator. The answer is 364. Wow. Almost a present a day. I guess a present a day if you're in a leap year. That's true love. That's my true love. Gave, gave me a gift almost every single day of the year. <laughs> That's a time. Even though those gifts are all horrible. Yeah, I don't want any of them. Oh, I love this, Lance. What's your most memorable Christmas gift? Hmm. I remember when I got a cell phone. That's a good one. I was in, I was 14. I have a, I have a good one. Okay. When I lived in, um, oh, wait, when does the 12 days of Christmas start? Someone wants to know. Is it 12 days before Christmas? I don't know. Who is that? Cricket again. Cricket's just trolling Cricket. us. With. Cricket, tell us. And I'll tell you my most memorable Christmas gift. So, or is she legitimately asking? Oh, I don't know, Cricket, if you're asking or if you're giving me Okay, let's pause for a sec. Then we're going to revisit the most memorable okay, Christmas. Okay, I'm ready to tell. Drop it in your chat, in the chat too, people. Okay. So I have wrapped, I cut the end, and now I'm gonna bring these pieces that I put, I'm gonna bring the one behind, I lost a couple of them. I'm gonna bring it through the middle here. And then, am I doing this right, Liz? I feel like- Yes, you are. Okay, <laughs> you just keep leaning over and making me- I'm just making sure they can see it. Yeah, okay. So I brought one piece through one of those beginning pieces and I'm tying up and I'm going to pull as tight as I can. Oh, fire truck just drove by. And I'm tying it in a knot as tight as I can. Okay, then I'm going to slide it off of here and I have this little yarn thing. Bundle. Bundle. Now I'm going to take my scissors. You can also get pom-pom makers that can help. I take my scissors and I'm going to cut along this edge here. Good scissors are the difference for pom pom yes. making. <laughs> yes, you will hate yourself if you have dull, dull scissors because scissors. you have to do a lot of shaving down. Okay, are we getting? Okay, what's your present while I cut? Oh, this? my present. Okay, so my husband was getting his PhD. We lived in Pennsylvania. My family all lives in Utah. And we were so oh my gosh. poor. We I, were so poor. Let me tell it. Okay. I just, we were so poor and we couldn't come home for Christmas. And I was so sad. And there was a contest on Good Morning America <laughs> that I saw on Thanksgiving Day saying, if you can't come home for Christmas, but you want to send us a letter. And I sent it. She's also, we should say this. I should say this. She's like a really gifted writer. Like a really I mean, I writer. pulled on every heartstring I could think <laughs> of. It was a weird year for us, though, for our family. It was weird. Our our two babies were both due within three months of each other, and somehow they ended up being born the same day. Yeah, my baby was a week late, and Sam's baby was how early? He was three months early. So it was the first Christmas with, and then they were born the same day. We still don't know how that happened. It's a whack. Mm -hmm. So they're born the same day. Sorry. Do you want to say what you're doing? Well, okay. I just, we'll just pause for a second. Yeah. So you can see this pom pom. It just looks kind of crazy. So what I'm going to start doing is just trimming it into a circle, into a ball. So I'm just going to go from all angles and trim it. So while I'm doing that, Liz, okay. Continue. So it's we have these twin babies now. Who knows why they're born the same? And and we want to be together that twin cousins. That first, yeah, twin cousins. We want them to be together that first Christmas. Mm -hmm. And that I, we're just so poor. We're in graduate school. It's a mess. So I write this letter to Good Morning America, and I win. And they <laughs> put my family on a plane and sent us to Utah. And I wasn't allowed to tell my family that I was coming. 
and they literally put us in a limo with a bow on it <laughs> and drove us up to Sam's house and my whole they had gathered my whole family and Cameron Matheson Lance, you you'll know, love this Cameron Matheson of Hallmark fame, Hallmark fame opened the door no oh, he he knocked on my door oh he knocked on Sam's door and said hey everybody come outside we have a huge present for you and my whole family came out on the driveway and then we pull up in a limo with a bow on it and Cameron Matheson opens the door and he says, Merry Christmas to the family. And then oh. I step out of the limo and they went, and we all are nuts. sobbing. <laughs> and it I still so rewatched that segment. That was like seven, seven years, years ago or something. Yeah. And I still rewatch it every year and ball because it was so incredible. Oh my God. I, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's the, if that's you want to watch it, I think we have a link buried somewhere on our, on our blog. blog. But it's really something. It's a really good present. The most embarrassing part was that when Cameron answered, or oh, when I opened the door and Cameron Matheson was standing there, <laughs> I said, what the heck is happening <laughs> on TV? Uh, I'll never forget. And now myself. we do TV regularly and say dumb things all the time. All so the it's time. Fine. It's just who we are. It's just who we are. Apparently. How's everybody doing? Are you guys, are you, are you okay on these pom-pom steps? You feeling like you can handle pom-pom making? Let and us just know see if you how it's becoming like a nice little tight. And as you get deeper um, into it, it gets even more fluffy and cute great story oh thank, thank you, you so much it's really the best Myra Myra I love it is my only good story and whenever there's like a game that's like mm -hmm. two truths and a lie, lie or something like that I'm like I, I was on good morning America <laughs> yep, but our that. kids being born the same day is also a really good story too so yeah, that was oh cricket likes the color of these they are very nice colors I hear everything. I think it must be a neighbor's fire alarm oh. or something. Hopefully that's not why the fire truck is here. Okay, oh. that looks great. Does it look good? Yeah. I mean, What's you next? can keep trimming it until you're happy and then you can remake them in different sizes and make a whole pile of them. So let's bring over this finished. These one. are also great for garlands. So yep. once you get the bug of of making pom-poms, you can use them for so many different kinds of Christmas decorating. Yeah. Liz, can you grab the red one? I just want to show the different sizes. So on this one, we did these smaller ones all around. And on the red, we did bigger. You could also do a mix. So you can just do, oh, I'm still holding my fork. That's <laughs> natural thing. Okay, so you could do either thing. So now we have all our okay, shavings in here. Okay. So then what we would do, and I'm going to go back to these white ones that we have over here for this. We're going to take our pom-poms and we're going to glue them on with our fabric fusion. So I like to arrange them first, just so that I know that I'm going to like how it ends up and then glue them. But if you're less of a control freak, then you can just go for it. Let us know if you've used this fabric fusion before and what you made with it. Cause I feel like it really opens up the possibilities for what you can make with fabric. So you don't feel hindered by a sewing machine. Mm -hmm. You know, you can make so much with it. If you've ever used it, tell us what you made with it. Okay. So that's pretty good. Yeah. That looks good. Okay. So now I'm just going to go in with it. I'm going to put a generous mm -hmm. bead on there. How long do you feel like it takes for it to dry? Does it say on there? It's probably a cure time. I guess I can let dry it. two to four hours. Okay. It's washable after 48. Great. It does say to wash things inside out. I would recommend not washing these stockings. Yeah. In the washer, but okay. So I'm just going to be washing by hand all over. And think of, you could do something fun when you make pom-poms. You can use multiple colors of yarn and make rainbow oh, pom-poms. Be It'd be cute to do a white fleece stocking and then like a bunch of colors of mm -hmm. pom-poms. Okay. So make as many pom-poms as you need. What colors of these stockings are you guys planning on making? I want to know your felt color, your pom-pom color. Let us know what color you're thinking. 
else do we have? What else are you? Did anyone else say their most memorable gift? Yes, gifts? I'd love to hear other memorable gifts. Lance, what's yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You asked us. My most memorable gift. Um, honestly, I, I would go with a bike when I was really young. Uh -huh. um, the story behind it is we had already opened up all the gifts and I was probably playing with them in our room. And uh, my two older brothers come in and said, hey, we're gonna take your rabbit on a walk, which sounds kind of weird now that I think about it. Yeah, it does. Wait, a real rabbit? <laughs> yeah, we had like a, you know, like a bunny in those days. And so yeah, they said, we're gonna go take it on a walk like it's a dog or something. <laughs> and I was too little, I didn't know any better. And when they walked me to the, to the living room, uh, they had a bike waiting for me. So it came from, oh I think it came from my two, I think it came from my two brothers. Um, but yeah, so they did that oh, for me. so cute. Your brothers bought you the bike? I think so. Oh uh, or at least that's, that's the story I've made up in my head after years. I keep it. That is so good. <laughs> yeah, I just remember the taking the rabbit on a walk. <laughs> the rabbit on a walk, that is so good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, Cricket's have? gonna do black felt with white pom-poms. Pink and white, royal blue and white for the boy. Very good. Okay. Okay. So now we'll let this dry and we are going to do now this little, we'll add our loop and we'll show you how to add do something like this. Okay. Okay. So with some leftover fabric, leftover felt, we're just going to cut a strip, like a one inch strip. And you can make it precise if you're not like. Oh, man. Now Lance is giving us more work. He wants to know our holiday traditions. I got to think about that. Our family does a thing, like our extended family. We don't know what this year is going to be like, but we do a Christmas Eve dinner that we eat only appetizers. Yeah. And it is like the joy of my whole life. <laughs> I love it. I remember when I first got married, my husband was like, what is this? And then he loved it that mm -hmm. first night. It's just, it's tr true freedom because it's Christmas Eve mm -hmm. and you can eat garbage, yeah. all the garbage. Yeah. It's like Thanksgiving. It's like still decent food, but like, it's just, it's just straight up. Yeah. I love yeah. That. You guys share some of yours. I'm, I'm just going to put some glue here and then I'm going to bring it around. Let's see if I can like this so that our loop is like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to just glue it right on the inside here. So I'm going to do some glue here and some glue here and I'm just going to slide it in there and push it. Cute. So yeah. cute. So it's really coming together. Coming together. Any others? My family dresses. Oh, sorry. You have to see my hair. <laughs> I'll read it. Yeah. <laughs> We're blind, you guys. Oh, Lance's family dresses as the nativity. My Aww. wife was in a, <laughs> a palm tree her first year. Oh. <laughs> You're like, welcome to the family, honey. <laughs> oh my gosh. And she, she's, I guess she was locked in by then. So true. <laughs> she, she had no choice. True. I gotta think like now that we have our own families. Yeah. We do like an ornament. Like we have an elf that brings an ornament. Yeah. That's really every sweet. more, every day in December. And my kids love that. Yeah. So sweet. Are you using this one for your? Yeah. Okay. Let's use it. Okay. So with some of our pom poms, um, I guess we should backtrack. Let us know if you have any questions about attaching the loop. I feel like we hate. have these are pro crafters with us. It's true. No one does not have questions. But <laughs> if you have questions about it, sound them off. Yep. Okay. So now we're let's make a tassel. So it's gonna look something like this one right yep. here. You can do a different variety of things. Cricket like has pizza on. Oh, that's cute. That's really 
Okay, so this is like a stacked tassel. Um, I'll show you how to make one with like the pom poms on top, like the red. Oh, they're pulling off. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna stick it back on. Okay, all right. Oh, and I need to grab. Sorry. If you have a yarn needle, that would be super helpful right now. And can you hand me that lid right there? I'm gonna use it for my tassel. I forgot about the tassel. Okay, so this is how we <laughs> do tassels. We just like grab something that looks like the right size. You can cut it out of cardboard. Yep. You can buy a tassel, a tassel. This maker. is a lid to it, an Ikea storage box. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is take the, my string up here and kind of hold it out of the way, just kind of like I did with the, with the um, pom pom. And I'm just going to wrap this around it until I like how big it is. Let me hold it over here. Okay, I'll wrap. You guys talk. <laughs> I do um, an advent calendar with my kids. That's a tradition that I loathe at this point <laughs> because it started, I should have, I should have started small and gradually got bigger, but I think my first year with it, I was so excited that I did like toys and candy and treats and activities every day. Mm. And now I'm tired. Yeah. So, and so now it's like, if I only do like read a Christmas book, it's not enough for them. They're like, where's the toy? <laughs> where's my new toy? So that's a good lesson. If you haven't started an advent calendar, if you decide to do that, Make sure that you start very small because if you start grandiose like I did, you have expectations set and it's problematic. Okay, you just wrap and wrap and wrap. And I love a dense tassel, mm -hmm. but we'll go with this. I would keep wrapping, but we'll just stop it here. You get the idea. And then this is, oh no, this is gonna be a nightmare. What? I'll get it off. Just pulling it off of these. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to tie this and we're going to plow forward. Okay. Tie well, this. Cut it. Top cut part. The bottom, so oh, you don't yeah. Have to yeah. Do that. Okay. So I've got this. This is going to be our top part. So we're going to hold it out so we don't cut it. And then I'm going to get my scissors in here and cut this thing. So, oh, I missed a few. Tassels are also fun for garlands and stuff. So yeah. once you unlock making tassels and- And there are off. tassel makers that make it a lot easier. Okay, so then if you want it to be more flat, you can trim it. I'm gonna take one more piece of yarn. Let's see. And tie it just a little tighter. If you wanted to make like a like a real tassel this one since we're gonna thread pom-poms on top you don't have to do this part where you would like okay so you would tie it right here to have like the little ball at the top mm -hmm. if i can do it this is it's so hard crafting with people watching <laughs> it's very it's I'm so nervous having an audience yeah okay okay Okay. What other Christmas crafts are you guys working on? Or do you do them early in the season? So now so you're you just coasting or are you still fully crafting? I kind of am a mix. I'll see what other people are doing. And then midway through, I'll get like a new burst of energy and want to yeah. keep making stuff. Yeah. We do kind of start oh, I put that in here. crafting Christmas early just because we have to get things on the get blog ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's this. Now, any questions about the tassel so far, you guys? Let us know if we're leaving you behind on the tassel. I really feel like we have pros. We've got good, we've got good crafters today. Okay, so I'm just cool. trimming it to make it a little more so cute. blunt. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, and then I'm going to take my yarn needle and put this through. Threading a needle with people watching. Wow, brave. Is very scary. Our other class, if you missed our other class, I just it just came to me. So our other class with the leans, we used the ultimate glue to make an advent calendar, but it was a 12-day advent calendar. Oh, yeah. So, so you, you can, can still, make, still it. make it. And it is so easy. We made it in like 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Yes. And you can find that on 
um, Michael's online, right? Yeah. And or it was recorded. Or you can find it on our blog, prettylifegirls.com. And may, still have time to make a 12-day advent calendar with um, the ultimate glue. Aline's the yeah. ultimate glue. Yeah. Okay. So with this, I'm going to just thread a few of these pom-poms on. And what kind of needle is that? Because this That's... is like a yarn Okay. needle. So you can get your yarn in there easy. Cute. But the one we made is out of, it's just a wooden board and um, clothespins. I think I have it right over here if you want to oh, show should it. Should I show it? Okay. Let me get it. Okay. So I've got my pom pom pom. Look how cute that is. Okay. And I'm just going to pull this through. And then we're just going to tie it on here, just like with a normal knot. So simple. That's so cute. I love the contrasting colors in the tassel. We'll just trim a little bit above the knot. And that's it. We did you it. You guys, so cute. Space it out a bit. Okay, I'm going to show you this advent since I'm here. So this is the one we made with Aline's a couple of weeks ago. You can find it, like I said, on michaels.com in their classes or um, on prettylifegirls.com. We saved the video there as well. And all we did is use Aline's glue to put the paper over the clothespins and then attach the clothespins to this board. And like I said, you're still within the window to do a 12 day, yeah. right? Because how many days? What is the day? 14? I don't know what day it so is. So make one this weekend and get it started. And then you can clip treats or cards and activities and stuff onto these. Really cute. Really, cute. really, really cute. Oh, I just knocked off a pom pom. It's oh, on Elizabeth. It's on my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> okay so then you would just let this dry let and then the you're done okay so here's our green one we made our mint and our red how cute are those <laughs> okay and you are gonna look so much more like you are a seamstress and all you would used was fabric fusion who would have thought that's all you need yeah so cool it's true it's so cool and they're so cute and that's it so do you have any last questions if you do let us know and this we, class is being recorded so if we went fast on anything if you need to rewatch it it's all going to be on michaels.com and everything that you make please 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 share it with us you can use the hashtag uh, make it with michaels hashtag michaels classes you can also share it with aline's we'd love to see it on their feet as well so that's D Aline's Aline's DIY, DIY, right? And you can also make sure you're following Aline's DIY on social channels so you can see everything else that you can make with all of their amazing glues. We love Aline. Mm -hmm. Anything else you have to say about that? I just hope that it goes well <laughs> for you. Share it with us. We would we love to see. see. We are the type of people who need a lot of validation. <laughs> and so if you can share, it will make us feel very Please do. <laughs> hashtag make it with Michaels. Hashtag Aline's DIY. Yes. And just, um, you can also tag us at Pretty Life Girls on social media. We'd love to see what you made. And yes. we just hope you guys have the best holiday and have so much fun making. And thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Bye.